Hello all, welcome to Zipka Silco Bio YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed this channel, then please subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a very popular database, which is Uniprot. And uh, Uniprot contains uh, information related to protein sequences. Uh, and you can explore the Uniprot database by just uh, uh, by typing the URL uh, that is uh, www.uniprod.org or simply uh, you can type Uniprod database in Google and then uh, you can see here the first entry is, is of Uniprod. So click on this and uh, this is the main page of Uniprod database and uh, you see there are uh, different uh, links here and you can explore uh, different sections okay and uh, mainly the uniprot database you will see that all protein sequences they have been uh, categorized under two uh, uh, two uh, main uh, groups and one is reviewed uh, that is available in swissprot and these protein sequences are manually annotated and they are reviewed and another another protein sequence uh, another group is unreviewed and here you will see all the sequences, protein sequences, which, uh, which have been uh, automatically annotated, okay. So, um, and you will uh, see information related to, like here, uh, newly added information is alpha folder structures, okay. And PROT NLM, it's a natural language, uh, language model and you can uh, you can see here i think it's a it's a new uh, feature here and uniprot covid19 portal also you can explore all the sars cov2 sequences okay protein entries and receptors so let's start okay and here suppose if you want to explore human protein sequences, then you can just type human. And then it will give you a long list of all protein sequences of human, okay, homo sapiens. So you see there are many entries here and you can select any protein to see that what are the, uh, what information you can get, okay. So, um, you can select, suppose uh, you want to get information about prohibitin 1, okay. So you can simply um, click on the Uniprot ID. So this is uh, alphanumeric Uniprot ID and this is unique ID, okay. And you see uh, the protein is prohibitin 1, gene is PHP1 and status is reviewed. And it is a part of Swissprot. Uh, so this protein belongs to Homo sapiens. Uh, amino acids, number of amino acids, 272. Annotation score 5 by 5. So it's a completely annotated. And uh, you see, uh, these are the sections, okay, important sections. So generally, uh, if you are uh, interested in uh, exploring sequence related information, then you can go to um, sequence here, family domain sequence and isoforms, okay. And if you are uh, interested in structure, then you can click on structure. But you should explore all sections, okay. So uh, here uh, you will find the information related to function, okay. And here is the, you see here, um, this is position related information and they're all uh, enzyme and pathway databases, okay, subcellular location, so different locations, so there are publications, uh, so different publications, they report different locations, okay. Cell membrane, it can be localized to uh, cytoplasm, uh, in cytoplasm, nucleus, mitochondria, uh, mitochondria, inner membrane, okay. 
and these are the variants so uh, these are predicted con uh, consequences okay so you can click here okay so these are the so uh, you see there, there is no clinical variant review uh, reviewed clinical variants okay okay so yeah so again information related to ptm that is post translational modification so if it has any uh, like phosphorylation glycosylation acetylation so you see here there are information related to uh, phos uh, phosphorylation acetylation so it is uh, it is uh, widely expressed uh, in different tissues and here in this section you will find interaction with other proteins Paleotropic at attributes so it has many functions okay so it has function in cell signaling mitochondrial it, it can act as mitochondrial cap uh, chap, caprion and transcriptional co-regulator and important thing is related to structure so here you will see that the alpha fold predict predicted structure is available here okay so um, you see here you can download the alpha fold predicted structure method predicted and then you can you can you can download the structure okay okay so you can download the structure and here you will find information related to sequence so you can also download the sequence so it has uh, it is um, canonical sequence Okay, so this isoform is the dominant one, and you see, uh, this this is the canonical sequence. Okay, so you can download the sequence also. The important thing about Uniprot is you can download uh, more than one sequences. So suppose you want uh, you want to analyze. Uh, evolutionary uh, like conservation um, of residues in p53 okay so suppose if you want to analyze p53 protein in different different organisms okay different mammals then you can just click on homo sapiens you can click on mus musculus raptus okay uh, macaca plus canis it's a cat uh, sorry um, dog Sisyscopha. you can select and you can download okay you can uh, download these sequences download selected download all okay. no no compression so you can download the sequences and you can analyze okay, the conservation of different uh, of residues and i saw that here uh, the structure has been downloaded so you can uh, open it in ucsf camera So it's taking time. Okay. 
it's PDB. So you see this, uh, this is the structure of OFT. This is a structural protein, okay? So it's not an enzyme. So likewise, you can uh, explore other proteins also, okay? So, um, suppose you want to explore P53, then you will, you can find information related to P53, it's a tumor suppressor. So these sections you can, uh, so you can, if you are interested in uh, disease and variants, then you can, uh, you can explore this section. Okay, so what are the mutations, what are the variants which 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 have been implicated in disease, to, uh, okay. So you see there are various uh, many, uh, there are different variants which are involved in cancer. So P50, mutation in P53, uh, they are uh, they uh, they have role in cancer development okay is involved in disease pathogenesis okay so you see it's a, a, a adrenocortical carcinoma basal cell carcinoma so basically it's um it's called the uh, guardian of the genome and you know p53 is very popular protein popular tumor suppression and uh, It interacts with NDM2. So you can also see here, yeah. So it can form P53, can form homodimers, homotetramers, and uh, binding interaction, you can see here. And it is the structure of P53. The crystal structure of P53 is also available. So you can see the information related to all uh, PDB experimental structures. Okay, but it's not complete. Let me check the alpha fold one. I think alpha fold should display here yeah so alpha fold structure you can see these are the disorder regions okay so uh, complete structure is not possible so even um, many researchers uh, they are happy uh, about uh, alpha fold that now uh, 3d structures of all human proteins will be available but the thing is different right so uh, there are regions which which are disordered okay and you have to be very cautious okay and when you are doing molecular dynamic simulation then really these structures uh, these uh, disordered regions will uh, will be uh, not good okay so well you can you can uh, just remove these parts and you can just keep all those regions which have been predicted uh, at very high uh, confidence okay so these are blue, uh, so blue regions they, they they have been predicted at very high confidence okay so uh, like uh, you can also download the sequence and different isoforms okay and Let's see, you can also do BLAST, okay? So suppose uh, you you want to uh, do BLAST, so you can simply uh, go to the tools here and you can do this, uh, you can perform BLAST, okay? You can also compute uh, isoelectric point, you can calculate molecular weight, Peptide cutter is also available. 
and similar proteins with 100% identity okay and 90% you can see all p53 yeah so these are the important sections which you can explore okay you can go through the expression also get some nucleus Yeah, it, yeah, it is highly expressed. Nucle uh, yeah, it has like um, so in nucleus also cytoplasm expression tissue specificity. Ubiquitous. So so it is like uh, in all tissues. Okay, in wide range of normal tissues. So in this way, you can uh, you can search uh, you can search Uniprot database and you can find um, information related to your Curie protein. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much.